Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Cancer Pisces Scorpio for Mercury Retrograde. We are in what's now called, or the time of year that we refer to as the Retrograde Parade. Mercury just joined ranks on the 23rd of August. So we now have Mercury Retrograde, Venus Retrograde, Saturn Retrograde, Neptune Retrograde, Pluto Retrograde, Chiron Retrograde, and Uranus is going to join tomorrow on the 29th. So Retrograde Parade, but we're talking about Mercury for this one, Personal Planet. So we want to pay attention to it. And I like to do this particular Mercury retrograde. I know we have two others through the uh, throughout the year, but I like this one because it's so impactful with so many planets being retrograde. So Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Virgo. That is one of his signs that he rules. So he's pretty comfortable there. As a result, things can be a little bumpier. Um, so what I have been in, advising everybody, I did the earth signs the other day, I did air signs yesterday, is find where 8 degrees to 21 degrees of Virgo falls on, in your chart. Meaning, I'm not. In, it's not about the planets that are there, it's not if your rising sign is there, it's not, it doesn't matter if your sun's there. What I want you to do is look at the outside circle of your natal chart, if you have it, or look it up, and look for where the glyph for Virgo falls. And you are looking for what house or houses 8 degrees to 21 degrees falls. Because that's the retrograde path. He began his pre-shadow phase when he hit 8 degrees of Virgo. He moved all the way to 21 degrees. Sat there for about 10 days. Turned around. And now he's retrograding all the way back to 8 degrees, and that's when he's going to turn around, I want to say, on September 14th or 15th, maybe 16th, somewhere in there. And then he's going to go back over that same territory. Okay, so that's the three-act play, the pre-shadow phase, the, the retrograde, and then the post-shadow phase. So... I know it's a lot to consider, but for me, um, Virgo, 8 degrees to 21 degrees split is split between the second and third house. So all I did was Google, well, I happen to know what it speaks to, but if I didn't, I would Google Mercury retrograde in Virgo, second house. Then I do a second search, Mercury retrograde in Virgo, third house. And all the information pops up and you can read about how it will likely impact your life being that it falls in that area of life the houses always speak to an area of life okay second house is a money house it's what we it's our you know well it's what we value it's self-worth and value but it's also our possessions and like i said it's a money house third house is a house of communication and right and learning so Perfect, because Mercury rules the third house. So I've kind of got that going on. So what you want to do is find the house or houses. If you have any questions about it or are curious my, for my input, put it in the comments. I will help you out. Okay, so now that we've covered that, I'm going to pull from Super Attractor. Let's get some cards for those of you watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I normally do individual zodiac readings. When I do the astrological transits, I go by element, since that is sort of how they work. Um, so in the extended, there is a link in the description box at the very first sentence in the description box below this video for the extended where I'm going to break it out. So I'm going to do separate Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, here we go. Oh. oh, I think earth signs got this and air signs got this. Lots of repeating energies here. I like that. So here's one of your messages. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. Wow, that's a beautiful message. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. I'm hearing some noise in my kitchen. I'm not sure what it is, but it's got me nervous. Okay, the next message you've got is, it's good to feel good. Yes, the earth sign's got this message too. So focus on feeling good, even though we're going through all this retrograde energy. And yes, patience is required during the retrograde parade. And just focus on what feels good. And then this last message is one of my favorites. I heal the habit of fear and I embrace the habit of love. 
This really feels like the lover's card to me. It's just so beautiful. Um, so we're going to be feeling good. We're going to be releasing fear. And we're going to um, exercise patience. Yeah. Patience as we move through all this retrograde energy because there's nothing we can do about it. So what I'm going to do is pull a modified Celtic cross. I'm going to give you my general impressions, and then we'll get the details with the clarifiers. Here we go. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle, and what's crossing you is the tower. So when I see this tower coming in as the challenge, it's telling me that you're sort of toughing out a difficult system or some a difficult situation where something may be unsustainable or you may feel that things are coming off the tracks a little bit um, especially during retrograde season you may need to even change your perspective i love in your unconscious awareness the six of swords it's about moving through it and getting beyond it moving beyond the turbulence in the past ace of cups um, conscious awareness yes the six of cups there's the emperor this is very past life soulmate twin flame energy coming through right here um so and i'm not surprised about that that's generally what i read for but this couldn't be any more literal in a way so what i'm seeing here is you have this connection on your mind but also what you have on your mind is persevering through um, something that feels like it's destabilizing in the situation and you're persevering because you understand on at least on an unconscious level that there's a path through it um, and something you know to some peace of mind to some calmer energy um, this is the love of your life past life soulmate going forward we see divine masculine energy so that's my general quick review let's jump in with some clarifications please nine of wands tower four of swords yeah moving i i kind of feel like okay so what you're persevering for what you're holding on for what you're not giving up on is the connection and you there's some healing that you're looking for here um four of swords so that you can kind of bust a move and make progress and all that forward motion of the chariot will come once you receive that message something sincere um, could be a message of apology for some of you. That is what's needed. That won't be for all of you because it's still a general reading. You know, it's got to take what resonates and leave the rest. But I do feel you're hanging on for the for the healing from something that kind of either fell apart or felt shocking. Maybe you didn't see it coming. Um, and once you get that message, you'll be able to move forward, get beyond it, move to calmer waters. So this so far is coming through as fairly optimistic. Let's see the six. So I'm feeling the tower is in the past. Could be very recent for some of you, but because I see that nine of wands, it feels like you've been hanging on forever. So let's see the six of swords. Temperance, yes, there's the patience. Nine of wands again, and the wheel of fortune, beautiful. Um, so this is in your unconscious awareness and on some level, yes, the patience and understanding that the universe is guiding you. That is this card right here. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. And that's what I'm seeing here is patience and perseverance and a knowledge and inner knowing and a trusting that this is jupiter here jupiter wants to bring us all good things that in divine timing you'll get beyond it you'll find that um calm in the center of the storm coming out on the other side of the storm um, so wherever you are in this process on some level in your unconscious awareness you're allowing the universe to guide you through it so let's see the ace of cups in the past Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups again, Page of Pentacles, just so beautiful. Yeah, this is like the love of your life and lots of romance, but I feel, I want to just say, I'm looking at 
something where this is all a new situation, a new environment, something that you were beginning to learn something about. So for some of you, this is a newer love connection um, for others and you're kind of taking it one step at a time. For others of you, there's maybe been a little bit of fresh start energy on the back of your mind because when I pull from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new and haven't watched me before, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness or something that's playing out behind the scenes. And since this part of the spread is looking toward the past, there may have been a need to kind of just take some baby steps. Okay, so beautiful love connection for some of you, like I said, newer for others, just really making very small steps forward. Now we have the Six of Cups, um, past life soulmate energy, warmth, comfort, nostalgia, familiarity. That's where I get that feeling that some of you have known this person for quite some time, maybe even from childhood or college years or something. It feels like there's a lot of comfort here. Others of you have been, yeah, now we have Divine Feminine, six, um, absolutely seeking reconciliation, coming back together, a triumphant homecoming, coming through here as Divine Feminine, wanting that reconciliation with the Divine Masculine, not happy with the emotional distance. It, for some of you, there may this tower may have been the moment of some form of separation, the part at, at which you went separate ways, um, and I feel like you're coming in saying, no, I'm not giving up on this. I'm not, I know we have some healing to do. I know we have some things to process. I'm not afraid. I am ready for some reconciliation or a meeting of the minds where we, you know, sort of allow each other to feel somewhat validated and we forge a win-win outcome and get beyond all this ish. So that feels good. And let's see the emperor in the near future. So yeah, I'm seeing reconciliation. Yeah. Past life soulmate, twin flame soulmate. New beginning. Mm -hmm. And that is a path that must be chosen. Somebody's choosing that path. Choosing the path to a new beginning, coming in with a big ass offer. Maybe just an up leveling of the connection. Maybe something more committed, more tangible. Um, the Ace of Pentacles here feels pretty auspicious to me because we had the Page of Pentacles in the past. So I'm feeling an up leveling. I almost feel this tower um kind of it doesn't feel like something fell apart now it feels almost like there was some form of disappointment um it could have even been something that was said or was promised and then not delivered upon right because i got this knight of cups so somebody comes in on their high horse all romantic and then doesn't follow through that's a little bit that can also be the tower um, because the tower can also just be an awakening, can be like, whoa, I did not see it that way or I didn't see that coming. It can be a little shock and awe. It doesn't have to be things falling apart. Um, but it, it does represent a change that is often unexpected um, and that you kind of have to rally for. So that's why we have that nine of wands twice. This is going in a very beautiful direction. I love where you are in your conscious awareness, all about the reconciliation and, um, you know, coming home to each other really feels beautiful to me and trusting that you're being, you know, having the patience to trust that you'll be moved through this. The universe is guiding you through it in divine time. Really lovely. Okay. So before I give you the astrology, just one more reminder the extended there's a link in the description box in the first sentence the extended will be looking at the re of the retrogrades right retrogrades are all the re words reevaluate reassess reconsider rethink reunite reconcile got it so i'm going to be looking at cancer pisces scorpio separately what are you need what are you needing to reevaluate or reassess at this time what do you need to recommit to with regard to this connection? And where might this lead? Where might things be headed? 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, here we go. We've got the tower, which is Mars. Mars has just moved into Libra. He is not happy there. So be forewarned. <laughs> Libra is all about love, peace, harmony, and Mars is not that. So <laughs> we're going to have a little dicey energy. Um, chariot here is Cancerian energy. Our page of cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Temperance is Sagittarius, as is the Wheel of Fortune, because it's Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. So lots of Sag energy right here. Our Knight of Cups, more Pisces. I love that. I love when water shows up in a water reading. Um, page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Empress is Venus. She's one of our retrograde planets in the sign of Leo. Rules Taurus and Libra. And then we have our Emperor, Aries. Yes. So that's what I've got for you. Beautiful reading. I love your oracle. And... I'm heading to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.